Hello and welcome to high school basketball on WOSN. Alongside Dar Never Go, I'm Evan Skillet here, and tonight it's a big non conference showdown between the Bluffton Pirates and the Ottawa Glandorf High School Titans. Dar, I am excited for this one. Two teams, I know it's early, but no losses between the two out of three total games between the two. And this is on paper a pretty good matchup. Yeah, it should be. I mean, you know, you look at both these teams across the board, they've got good scoring, both coming in averaging around 70 points a game, you know, giving up just around 40 some points a game. So yeah, pretty evenly matched on paper. I think Otto Glendorf maybe had a little bit of a height advantage over uh, Bluffton, but that doesn't really matter a whole lot in these type of games. And I'll tell you what, these two teams, when they match up, they are always a barn burner in games, you know. And you look at this crowd here. This place is packed. I looked, noticed when it came in, it said it was sold out. So and it's obvious that it is because there are people everywhere. Yeah, right now the tip-off is delayed because the students still haven't been able to get up into the student section. Take a look there on your camera. They're still shuffling up the aisles into the student section to make way for the actual game. And Bluffton excited for this one. Sold out crowd, standing room only. You'll see that throughout the night as well. We are now ready for tip. And it's Colin White tipping it, but it's Merrick Donaldson of Bluffton grabbing it. And we are underway. Bluffton in the white uniforms. They start with Merrick Donaldson, Wade Ginther, Taryn Boblett, Blake Summers, and John Paul Yoder underneath. We'll get you the Titans starters here briefly as the Pirates move the ball around the perimeter. Summers, the lefty for three and an early bucket for the Pirates. It's a three-pointer sponsored by Web Insurance Agency as the Titans come the other way. They start with Grant Schroeder, Grady Tomanos, Russ Mag, Colin White, and Caden Erford. And it's Tomazos, excuse me, as they move the ball through the offense. Here's a three-pointer from the wing. That one's short. The rebound, though, falls to Grant Schrader, and the Titans will get another try. Inside goes Caden Erford, and the Pirates get the ball. I'll tell you what, this is going to be one big defensive battle between these two teams, particularly underneath the boards, because, like I said, there's a lot of height underneath there between these two teams. And, you know, I'll tell you what, Evan, every time you see these guys play each other, you know, you can expect the unexpected, because you never know what's going to happen. It's the Pirates with Ginther up top right now. Ginther to the basket. He goes up off glass and in. The Pirates out to an early 5-0 lead. A good move into the basket for that young man. White thought about a deep three. Now gives it up to Caden Erford, who does take the three. That's no good. And it's John Paul Yoder with the rebound. Yeah, that's one thing uh, Otto Glendorf is going to have to tidy up a little bit is those long rebounds, and they're going to have to take those away from Bluffton because that's just going to give the Pirates an opportunity to get down the court quickly. Pirates to the high post with Yoder. Yoder tries to hand to Summers. Good defense from White, but the Pirates still with possession. Now, one thing I noticed in the first two games for Bluffton, they are 2-0, and but they are averaging about 16 turnovers a game, and that's not something you want to do against this Otto Glendorf defense because it's very aggressive and they're going for every ball they can get. They got hands everywhere and they turn those, and those turnovers into points quickly. Pirates with a good patient possession, a three-pointer just off the front, no good from Blake Summers. White the other way, gives to Tomazos. Now Westrick, good pump fake, gets a man in the air, goes glass and in. That's Caden Erford, rather, with his first bucket of the evening. Yeah, Orford had nine points in their win over Tiffin Calvert in their first game of the season. That was a 73-43 win for the Titans. Bluffin, on the other hand, has won two games. They beat Kenton 57-50, and in their opener, they beat Elmwood 86-46. Ginther to the left side, stops, keeps that pivot foot. Now Yoder. Yoder works his way oh. down, lefty off the glass and in. Nice job by Yoder, the six foot four senior. Averaging about three points a game, but boy, he really worked his way in on that one there and just took advantage of it. White with the pull up jump shot. Looked like he got his arm hit. Refs don't see it. Pirates coming the other way with a 7 2 lead on the structure scoreboard. Donaldson inside. Kicks it out to Ginther. Yeah, Bluffton doing a good job of holding OG to one shot. Donaldson. Misses the three, White grabs the rebound. White will bring it up, he'll cross half court. Guarded by Donaldson. High ball screen, Pirates double. 
White outside, three on the way. That's Schrader, and he gets the Web Insurance Agency three-pointer. Brings it to within two, seven, five. Pirates on top. Yeah, Grant Schrader, a junior, six foot one, average, or scored 13 points in their opening win. Pass outside for Donaldson. Now Taryn Boblet, he tries the three, he gets it. Trey, Taryn, excuse me, Taryn Boblet hits the tray as White pulls up oh, and oh my goodness, that. off glass and one for the Ohio State commit, Colin White, who was signing autographs in the gym before the game. And now he's showing you why. Well, I'll tell you what, when you watch Colin White play, he is so smooth and everything he does, his shot's smooth. You know, it's almost effortless for him, it looks like, you know, but, and he, and he really doesn't care about points that much. I mean, you know, you talk to Tyson McLaughlin, he really doesn't care about points. You know, he cares about wins. And, but I, when the game's in the, in the, you know, in the clutch, that's the young man that's gonna come through for you. White hits the free throw, sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. And the score 10-8, Pirates. Titans come out in a three-quarter court press. Pirates give it to the corner, now they cross half court. This is Donaldson. Donaldson averaging about 17 half points a game in the first two wins. Oh, and by the way, shooting 50% from the yes. three-point line. Unbelievable um, it number is there. Unbelievable. Yeah, eight for 15 from three-point land. Now the All-State linebacker, Landon Worcester inside. He kicks it out to Ginther. Pass over the top. This is Carey Wright, gives it right back. Wright trying to post. Now gets it. Three minutes on the clock. Back door, Worcester to the basket. Misses the lay-in. Ball goes out of the state with the Pirates underneath. Good back door there from Worcester, just not able to get the roll. Certainly was. I mean, a nice play all the way around for Bluffton. Yeah. You know, they are trying to work it on the inside. Now, you've seen them take a lot of three-point shots already in this game, but they are trying to work it inside and see if they can take advantage in there. But, you know, that's a lot of, not a lot of room in, against this Otto Glendorf team in there. Pass comes in for Carey Wright. Just a little bit out of his reach, but he tracks it down. Donaldson, he beats his man off the dribble, but that lay up too hard. The other way comes Erford. Erford, high dribble, gets it to White. White, the skip pass. Alex Wagner from the corner with two in his face. Donaldson with the rebound. Pirates still lead by two late in the first quarter. Well, and OG's first win this season against Calvary was the same kind of deal. They were only up 10-8 after the first quarter. Kind of slow start for them, you know, and, and Calvert was able to come back a little bit on him, but by the second, third and fourth quarter, they turned it on. And Donaldson again beats his man off the dribble. He'll get to the line with some Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throws. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. Donaldson, 83% free throw shooter so far at five for six on the season. Averaging 17 and a half points per game. First one up, and no good. Brody Summers will check in. So Brody and Blake Summers both on the court for the Pirates. Donaldson lines up the second. That one goes. Pirates lead 11-8 on the structure scoreboard. Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor bring your indoors out. Pirates will come out and put some pressure on the Titans full court. Face guarding Erford and Colin White, trying to make the other three beat him. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to leave Grant Schrader out there open very much either if I'm bluffed him because he's, like I said, he had 13 points in their opening win for OG. White dribbles to the left. Pulls up, pure. 11-10, White with five. Ginther brings it down under two to play in the first quarter. Summers with an open look. This one off the mark. Alex Wagner grabs the board. In transition go the Titans. Three-pointer on the way, Connor Kitchen. No good from him, good box out from Worcester. 
Well, Bluffton's holding their own on the boards right now. I've got them unofficially with five rebounds to four for Otto Glendorf. Mister in the corner. Inside, oh, nice roll nice. from Summers. Brody Summers with the basket. Pirates back up three. Yeah, I caught OG kind of in no man's land right there. Pirates try to trap the screen. And a fouling White, but it's only the second foul for the Pirates. The sideline out of bounds for the Titans. Trailing by three here early on. Now Donaldson will have the task of face guarding White as the two exchange smiles. Donaldson will drop. Under a minute to go in the first quarter. Pull up jumper. That's Whoa. good. Erford with the midi, bringing the Titans within one. That's four points now for Caden Erford, the six foot four senior for Otto Blandor. Summers goes inside, kicks it out to the other Summers, but that three no good. Probably could have just taken the easy one, but instead the unselfish play. Titans perhaps looking for the last shot. 18 seconds on the clock. Exciting first quarter here as the Pirates sure hanging tough with a very good Titans team that's made multiple trips to the state final four. Here's a three. This could give the Titans the lead. No good. And the quarter comes to an end. Pirates on top of the Titans 13-12 as we take a break. We'll have the second quarter for you after this on WOSN. Tonight's three pointers are sponsored by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years, with offices in downtown Lima and Bluff. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Welcome you back to Bluffton High School, where the Pirates lead 13-12. And God, before this game, and really before the warm-ups, a moment of silence here in the gymnasium as Bluffton community lost Sophomore Eli Jones, tragic passing, too young. I want to extend our thoughts and prayers to the Jones oh, family during this tough time. Shout out to the Titan student section for wearing red here tonight in honor of Mr. Jones. These two communities coming together, and you love to see it. No, oh, absolutely, and so sad for everybody involved, and so sad for their family as well. Our prayers certainly are with them. Donaldson gets a man in the air and pulls up for two. The Pirates get the first points of the second quarter on the structure outdoor scoreboard. Inside goes Tomazos. Now Schrader. You know, when we talk about these two teams every time they meet and stuff, and it's obvious that neither one fears either, either one of them. I mean, you know, they've had some classic battles between them, and this is just another sample of that. You see OG coming in with, you know, a team that's had great success, and, and Bluffton just says, you know, hey, we don't care. You know, we're going to play you just the way it is. Fantastic atmosphere for high school basketball. Early season action. And Bob with a lazy pass goes out. Caught by Bluffton girls basketball head coach Adam Burris over in the first row. But amazingly enough, that's the first turnover by either team tonight. Went through a whole quarter, the first quarter with no turnovers. That's the first one tonight by the Bluffin Pirates, the first one of the game. Now a little high-low action, but Yoder takes it away. Good defense from the senior, John Paul Yoder. Yeah, good defense there by Bluffton all the way around. They fronted uh, Colin White. You know, and had somebody behind him as well. Here's Boblet. Yoder posted up. Yoder works his way down to the basket, kicks it back to Boblet. 
Blake Summers outside. Summers guarded tightly by Ross Mack. And Wade Ginther. Good patient possessions from the Pirates. A staple of a Todd Boblet offense, the longtime head coach here at Bluffton High School. I believe he's in year 18 now. Wow. Doesn't seem like it, does it? No, it doesn't. I was actually a freshman the year that he started here at Bluffton High School. I feel old. <laughs> yeah, we won't talk about old, though. Yoder inside, floats it up. No good, but Summers there for the follow. Blake Summers. With his second bucket, he has five points and the blocking foul at the other end. Foul against Summers, that's his first team, first of the quarter. Right now, Lefton's doing a good job of spreading out their offense. You know, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six players have all scored for him so far. Open look at three to Mazos. That's no good. Ball took around. White gets it. White sends it inside. Ball knocked away. And the Pirates on the line. Perry Wright trying to keep it in bounds, but ends up with the Titans in the corner. Now, Bluffton's well aware. Everybody knows what Colin White can do, but you got to be careful with these other guys on this OG team, and Bluffton knows that. They can't allow them to beat them. Another look for three. That one's no good either. Ball tapped around and off the Pirates. Another OG toss from the baseline. A smart move by Colin White, too, because he saw the ball coming out of bounds. He was, got away from it as quickly as could. White gets the screen, tries to curl. Good job by Worcester, staying with him. Pull up three from Erfurt, that misses. And Worcester trying to track it down. Ball ends up out of bounds, so Pirate basketball. Well, I was thinking, Evan, I was watching pregame warmups, and OG was not hitting too many baskets during pregame warmups. I thought, well, that, that's going to have to improve really quickly, guys, when you get into the game. But so far, they haven't really been able to knock down some good shots. They're getting some open looks, they just aren't hitting them. Three-quarter court, one, two, two. Defense against the Pirates, broken no problem. Blake Summers has it. Boblet. It's a Pirate team that likes to shoot threes, but the Titans so far in the second quarter at least have really run them off the line. Now Summers trying from inside, might have got bumped, but misses the shot nonetheless. Erford with the rebound. Titans quickly the other way. Corner three, this is Schrader. Again, no good. Pirates with the rebound. Unofficially, I got Bluffton with eight rebounds. Eight rebounds for OG. Hinter goes inside. He takes a tumble, misses the shot, and it's last touched by the Pirates. Brody Summers checking in alongside Merrick Donaldson for the Pirates. Bluffton seven for 19 right now, shooting wise. Tomazos brings it down. Now on the wing, White trying to post up. Terry Wright working against him. Good defense as they force the Titans back to the perimeter. Yeah, they're keeping, they're keeping Colin and White away from the inside, away from underneath that basket. And a timeout taken by the Titans. It's a Metro Financial Services timeout as we step aside as well. Pirates on top here, 17-12, 336 to go second quarter. We're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Tonight's school board is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Arts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors arts. Welcome back to Bluffton High School where that Alts scoreboard leads 17-12 in favor of the Bluffton Pirates hosting tonight's non-conference matchup. And Dar, so far the Pirates have done a nice job neutralizing this high-powered OG offense. Well, they certainly have. They've made some great defense, just keeping OG away from underneath the basket, for, forcing them to shoot from the outside. They've, OG's had to shoot 10 threes so far here in this first half to just six on basket and two-point attempts. 
Deep three from White. That's no good. I think the Pirates will take that of all the shots that he can make. Another three no good as well. Rebound pulled in by Brody Summers. Yep, Blake Blake too. Summers, excuse me. Yeah, thank you. As I said, the Bluffton doing a nice job of holding their own on the rebounding. You know, they gave up a few inches across the board, but they're doing a good job of boxing out, keeping OG away from it. High ball screen for Donaldson. Titans try to double the screen, and Summers takes a power dribble inside right off his knee. A second turnover now for Bluffton. As I said, they came in averaging about 16 turnovers per the first two contests. So, you know, two turnovers against this OG defense at this stage, that's, a, that's phenomenal. Now Erford over to Schrader. Schrader picks up his dribble, hands to Brody Fortman. That three, no good. Right now, the Titans are cold. I wonder though, they start to heat up. Right? Like the they do. This Pirate team not really putting points on the board either. 17-12, defensive battle. we in the second quarter. Summers lost the handle, but gets it back. And now Coach Poblet takes a timeout. Sponsored by Metzger Financial Services. We'll take it too. 17-12, Pirates on top. Tonight's free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here. 2.20 on the clock here in the first half. 17-12, Pirates on top of the traveling out of Orlando High School Titans. Evan Skilleter and Darn Everdahl with you. And a Pirate time out there trying to regroup as the offense kind of stalling out here, but I'm sure Coach Bob went happy with the defensive effort. Oh, certainly are. And if you notice, the OG has yet to score here in the second quarter. which <laughs> That's a phenomenal defensive effort by uh, Bluffton. And Worcester tries a backdoor pass. Not a bad looking pass, but Boblet on the other end probably couldn't see it coming as it went between almost the entire defense as the Pirates register another turnover. Yeah, that's the third one for the Pirates, but that, yeah, he was effectively screened out by three different players by OG. White hands to Schrader, now to Mazos. Erford thinks about baseline, he's cut off. Now spins, pulls up, that one goes. Nice high release from Caden Erford on the tough jumper. That's six points now for Caden Erford. Pass over the top as the Titans extend a full court pressure. Ginther brings it across, guarded by White. OG needs to ratchet up their defense a little bit too and get a little more aggressive. 85 seconds to play in the half. Here's Worcester. Worcester picks up his dribble now, gives over to Summers. Boblet now. We got a real battle going on between Blake Summers down there and Caden Erford, I'll tell you. Now Ginther breaks free. Ginther to the bucket, goes up, shot doesn't go. It's a blocking foul, so we've got two free throws coming up. Sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. You see a real contrast between these two teams right now in this game because you see, you know, Otto Glendorf had 13 three-point attempts so far. I've got him unofficially. And yet, on the flip side, Bluffton's got 14 two-point attempts. So, totally opposite between the two of them. Get their free throw goes. 73% free throw shooter. 8 for 11 coming into tonight. Make it 9 for 12 after that. Just under a minute to play in the first half. Second one rolls in as well. Extends the power lead to 19-14 on the structure scoreboard. That's four points now for Wade Ginther, averaging 10 points a game. Let's try to jump the screen. White goes inside. He's fouled. Shot doesn't go, but we'll have two more. Lee's free throws coming up for Colin White. White scored 21 points in the win over Tiffin Calvert. It's a 73-43 victory for the Titans. That one no good. Wow, that's a rare one. Kerry Wright checks in. And then Worcester heads to the bench. Second free throw up, that one goes. 
1915, the Pirate lead. Summers will take it out. Diamond pressure from the Titans. Trying to trap in the corner, they get it to Summers. Summers ahead to right, right ahead to Boblet. Boblet to the rim and good. Well, that's the way to break a press. Erford back down the other way. Pirate lead up to six, and Erford cuts it to four, and he has a free throw coming up. The big and one from the big man, Caden Erford. Yeah, the six foot four senior, nine points in their opening win over Calvert. And he already has eight points in this game. Erford's free throw good. Lead down to three with 29.2. Titans back off the pressure to half court. There's Donaldson up top. Donaldson stepped across half court. It's a turnover, not one the Pirates wanted. And the referee right there to see it. I suppose there's never a turnover that a team wants. No. No, but there are some where you can say, well, yeah, no harm, no foul if I make this turnover, but this one here could definitely be uh, something that OG can tie this game up. 12 on the clock. It's White against White. Over to Alex Wagner. Wagner stops. It's swung around to Erford. He pulls up for three. Had to oh, double cut, my. But he hits it to tie oh. it. The buzzer, it's a web insurance agency three, and we have a ball game here in Bluffton. 21 21 to score at the half. We will step aside, but a big time second half coming up after the break on WOSN. serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Welcome back to Bluffton High School where it's almost time for the second half of dark. I saw you scribbling furiously <laughs> at halftime. You've got some halftime stats for us. Yeah, pretty close all the way around. You know, of course, the score is 21-21, but you look at OG, you know, Shooting overall, 8 for 22 for 36 percent, 3 for 4 at the line for 75 percent, 9 rebounds, 1 turnover. Bluffton, on the other hand, 8 for 21 from the floor, 38 percent, 3 for 4 at the line, uh, 10 rebounds, 4 turnovers. But the biggest difference you see between the two of them is it's completely flipped. OG, 2 for 14 from 3-point range, you know, just 14 percent. Left on the other hand, six for 15 from two point range at 40%. Caden Erford with 12 points to lead OG in that first half. And Blake Summers and Boblet with each with five points apiece to lead Bluffton. Go inside to Yoder to start. Yoder reposts. Yoder working to his left. Yoder goes up off glass, no good. That ball goes out of bounds. And I think it would have been Titan basketball, but Erford not sure. Tries to grab it, knocks it out, so the Pirates with a baseline out of bounds. Yeah, again, good defense underneath by uh, by both teams, you know, just to keep him from outside. I mean, he was in, he had good positioning in, under the basket, but two OG guys right there on him. Summers hands. Robert gives it up to Donaldson. Donaldson to the right, now inside the lane. He's got to get out of there quickly. Ginther with the cut to the basket. And he scores, assist to Donaldson. Pirates strike first on the structure scoreboard here in the second half, they lead by two. That's six points now for Wade Ginther. Pardon me, Dar. Pivot foot slid, and that one tipped by the Pirates, so it will stay with the Titans underneath. Yeah, surprising in this kind of game when you've got OG and Bluffton, two good defensive teams out there, there's only been five turnovers in the first half. Ball swung around, it's on the wing as Earth. Three-pointer from the corner, Tomazos, that's no good. Ball on the floor and the Pirates end up with it. John Paul Yoder with the rebound, now Bob with the transition three, that's off the back, no good. Donaldson with the rebound, out to Summers who lost the handle, but the Pirates keep it. 
Yoder with the post, calls for the ball. Yoder works his way to the left again. Yoder up, off glass, no good. The Pirates trying to get the action going inside here early. White inside, that's oh. good. Yeah, that was a gimme. 2-2-1 two, two, full court defense from the Titans as they switch up the defensive looks against the Pirates. Ball up to Yoder, now Boblet. Score tied at 23. There's Wade Ginther up top, guarded by White. You can see the respect that OG's defense has for this Bluffton team because you haven't seen a lot of guys switching off and doubling up on one guy because they don't want to leave anybody else open out there for, for the Pirates. Donaldson in trouble. They get it off to Ginther. Ginther with the lane to the basket again. And it's up and in. The Titans electing to guard far from the basket and on the broken play. Ginther able to find some space, go off glass, and finds back up too. And Ginther's not afraid to take it to the basket either. White goes inside, challenged by Yoder. Yoder gets tacked with the foul. It's the first of the half for the Pirates. And it's two. This famous recipe chicken free throws coming up for Colin White. And Coach Bob is well aware of what happened to OG in that first game against Calvert where they let Calvert stick around for a long time there in that first half, but by the third quarter and the fourth quarter, the fourth quarter turned into a 23 to eight OG you know, quarter. So, you know, you know this OG team is going to turn it on one of these times. You just got to withstand that kind of thing. White one for three from the free throw line, now two for four. And it's one of two of these famous recipe chicken free throws. And here comes that full court press that OG's so famous for. Jump ball on the far side. Ball stays with the Titans. They'll have it underneath. Up top to White. White rips to his left, pulls up. My goodness. That is so sweet of a shot. And if you watch him shoot it, he gets such elevation. He's up above the defender kind of shooting down on the basket sometimes. But, you know, he is six foot six. But I'll tell you what, he really has a nice shot. All right, let's break the pressure again. They get inside to Summers. Summers runs into trouble. Summers outside. Donaldson swings it to Wright. Wright goes baseline. He's bumped. So first foul of the half against the Titans. That's the third foul against Brady Tomazos. Titans lead by a point. Ball up for Summers. Donaldson will set it up. Donaldson takes oh. the handoff, floats it off glass, and in. There's a breakdown right there by OG. White to the basket, and he is taking over right now. He's got the last five points for the Titans. They're back on top by one. Well, as we said, when the, when the game gets into the clutch area, you know, you can count on Colin, Colin White to really turn it on and try to take charge. Ginther goes baseline, cut off. Out to Donaldson. Donaldson again inside, that floater no good. Ball batted around, and... Ends up with the Titans. Here they come the other way. Erford backs his way down, misses the shot. Wade Ginther with the rebound as Donaldson brings it across. Over halfway through the third quarter. And was his a low scoring game, surprisingly. Ball off of Ginther's leg, so back to the Titans. Pirates turn it over. That's turnover number five for Bluffton unofficially tonight. Just one turnover for the Titans. Titans lead by one on the structure scoreboard. White again to the basket, just exerting his force. Two tries though, no good. Great rebound though from Alex Wagner who puts it back in. I think they've told Colin White, just get to the basket, get yours. 
and good things will happen. Oh, absolutely. You got you got a couple other guys out there who'll clean it up for you if you do miss a shot. But if nothing else, you'll draw some fouls. Donaldson's three no good, but the Pirates with the offensive rebound. Carey Wright knocking it out, and a timeout taken by Coach Boblett. Timeouts tonight sponsored by Metzger Financial Services. We'll take it as well with 3.02 to go in the third quarter. Titans lead 30-27. We'll be right back. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future, call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Timeout taken by the Pirates, trying to regroup here. It's the second they've taken in this game. They have three. And with Landorf with four remaining. Sent up for Carey Wright. He sends it up to Ginther as the Pirates reset the offense. And Bluffton's been able to get to the middle a couple times with Ginther going straight to the basket. But still not a lot of room underneath the maneuver down there right now. Worcester dribbles inside, spins left handed nice layup to it around Don White. Pirates back to within one. And that's Landon's first basket of the night. He had six, he's averaging six points a game. He has two now. Three-pointer on the way. No good for Murford. Gifford pulls down the rebound. Pirates with a chance to take the lead back. Well, I'll tell you, Evan, if anything's hurt OG tonight, it's been three-point shooting. They have just been atrocious at hitting three-point shots. Summers up top. Summers step back jumper. That's oh, good. Oh, my goodness. Pirates back up, 31-30 on the structure scoreboard. Seven points now for Blake Summers. White, another pull-up jump shot. That's good. Mid-range magician Colin White, 13, make it 15 points now in this game, and he gives the Titans the lead back. Here's Ginther. Titans switch. Boblet up top. He's guarded by Schrader. See a couple of Bluffton players breaking for the basket, but OG Titans all over him. Pirates trapped again. Right lost the handle, but he oh gets it my. back. And he puts it in off the glass. Pirates back up. White to the baseline. He kicks it outside. Three-pointer on the way. That's no good. Right with the rebound. How about Kerry Wright's last couple minutes? Uh, he's really turned it on, hasn't he? And they need every bit of that. He's averaging two and a half points a game, one and a half rebounds. But here they're giving him everything he can right now. Pirates lose the handle. Titans take it back. Erford, he goes inside and an offensive foul called. Caden Erford's first foul, second of the Titans of the quarter. Pirates get it back with a one-point lead. This has been a fantastic is, basketball game. Like I said, you know, these two teams, when they battle against each other, they don't care. You can throw all the records. You can throw all the history out the door because it really doesn't matter to them. They know that, you know, we're going to play our game. Both of them are going to play their games and see who comes out on top. And another foul against the Titans is... Grant Schrader runs into the back of Merrick Donaldson. That's number three against the Titans. You see a little frustration now building on the OG, too, because they didn't expect to be this close at this point. These are the kind of games both these teams need, though. They need to be able to, to fight at, you know, in the game to make them ready for the rest of the season. Pirates trying to break the pressure, pass ahead. And there's something wet on the floor. So the Pirates had an easy look at the other end, but the referee stops play because the floor was wet. And so the Pirates will now have to re-break the press. And the Pirates are asking, they, they want the ball 
down underneath. The referees say no. They're going to give him a half court, though. They are going to have a quick chat at half court. So now once everything's sorted, the Pirates will send it in from the far side. It'll be Wade Ginther checking in for Worcester. Brody Summer sends it in. Ginther sets things up for the Pirates. Ginther taking his time. Pirates looking for the last shot of the quarter. 20 on the clock. Ginther picked up his dribble. Ooh, Donaldson gets close. by him. Donaldson gets to the rack. Donaldson fouled with 16 on the clock. He'll go to the line for two. Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. Great job by Donaldson. Just to break through there and, and get to the basket and draw the foul. Opportunity to go up by three. First one good from Donaldson. He has six points this evening. Two for three so far from the free throw line. Came in at 83% free throw shooter. Thirty four thirty two make it thirty five thirty two. Now the Pirates had a three point lead right before the first half ended, but ended up giving up a three pointer to Caden Erford. Right at the buzzer. Pirates trying to avoid that here. Titans. And the Pirates foul. They had four to give. And that's the new thing we'll see this year is teams fouling at the end of quarters because fouls reset okay. every quarter. Now that's going to be a tough one now with 5.4 seconds left here in the third quarter. We're going to have to get off the shot. Yeah, you know, they got a little bit of time, but ball up for Erford. Erford oh, finds some space. That three, that's no good. Still a second on the clock. The follow-up doesn't go in the last tip was after the buzzer, so the Pirates have a three-point lead. After three quarters, it's 35-32. We'll be back with the fourth quarter after this on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. That scoreboard has been busy here in the second half. Not a lot of points on the board, but it's been back and forth. Plenty of lead changes, so many I've lost count. And the fourth quarter starts with the Pirates up three and with the ball. Evan Skilleter, darn ever go with you this evening from Bluffton High School. And Colin White with nine points in that third quarter, 15 overall. Did the bulk of the scoring for OG in the third. White gets the rebound, goes in transition, lost the handle for a moment, so he steps back. Working against Carey Wright, tries that pull-up jumper. That one's no good. Wright smothering Colin White. Bluffton unofficially with 17 rebounds so far in this game, but just 15 for OG. Here's Donaldson. He'll shoot it from out there if you give him space, but not enough here. Now works his way inside. Scoop layup, no good, and Wright's going to get called for the foul. Tried to climb the back of Caden Erford. First of the quarter, first against Kerry Wright of the game. Titans bring it up. Wright knocked it away, thought that it went off of Colin White, but he doesn't get the call. Yeah, Terry Wright, a senior, 6'2". I mean, he's playing an outstanding game so far for this Bluffton Pirate team. And a travel called as Tismanos was on his knee. He stood up from his knee. If that knee is on the ground, you can't bring it off. 
Pirates still lead by three. A lot of energy being exerted out there between the two teams. You can see it on their faces and their heavy breathing, on the, you know, out there as well. Ginther outside, Donaldson with the fake, pull-up jumper. That's off the back of the rim, no good. Tomanos, Tomazos, excuse me, the other way. White gets inside, his shot no good. Erford with the rebound, his shot goes off the front. And now a jump ball, possession arrow to the Titans. It'll be underneath, Erford will throw it in. Ball up oh. for White, just a lob play there as White Gets the bucket, 17 points for him. Fans on their feet here at Bluffton High School. At least on our side. Donaldson picks up his dribble, tough spot. Gets the ball over to right. Ends up with Bobble. Summers in the corner. And we got the OG fan base cheering their team on after that basket by Colin White. The boom was in one. And now Pirate fans start to get to go. their feet. Donaldson guarded by Ross Mag. Donaldson inside. He's blocked. Yeah. Gets it back. Summers can't handle the pass, but it ends up going off of Grant Schrader. So the Pirates keep possession. That was a tough block by Caden Erford, too, because he really wasn't in a position to block that shot. Donaldson tried to clip it up there underneath, and Erford just reached his hand out there and just blocked it away. Ball knocked away by the Titans again. The Pirates not really able to get open on the inbound. We'll send this into the backcourt as Donaldson tracks it down. They'll be guarded by Grant Schrader. Let's think about doubling. Donaldson passes it to the right, but the pass too low. Summers can't handle it. Titans get it back. Chance to take the lead. Here's White. White to the baseline, and he's got a foul. Right Donaldson put his elbow right into the back of Colin White, so the second of the quarter for the Pirates. Third against Donaldson, he'll have to be careful. Yeah, that's one player they don't want to lose is Merrick Donaldson with 17 half point average. White backs his way down, turns, fires, and puts it in. He is tough to stop. You get him, well, when he gets inside like that and gets around that rim, it is hard to stop a six foot six player with his jumping ability, I'll tell you. And now Ginther throws it away. The Titans take the lead, then force a turnover. They'll get it back, a chance to extend the lead as Colin White is heating up. Now, a little bit of frustration there for the Bluffton Pirates, too. That's turnover number eight that I've got him down for. But, you know, nothing as far as that goes is that, that unforced turnover like that. Erford lost the handle. He gets it back on the sideline. Tell he feels a little gassed. He's working on Donaldson. Runs into him and a block called against Donaldson. And that's number four against Merrick Donaldson. Number three against the Pirates of the quarter. That would be a big blow for this Bluffton Pirate offense if Donaldson goes out. And defensively as well. He played a great defensive game as well. The Metzger Financial Services timeout taken by the Titans. 4.43 to go here in the fourth quarter. Titans on top, 36-35. We step aside. Tonight's free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Tonight's three pointers are sponsored by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. And welcome back to Bluffton High School where the Titans of Ottawa Glandorf lead 36-35. Evan Skilleter, Darn Everdahl with you. Zach Keith 
And Jacob Hot Dog O'Neal on the cameras. Ball popped up for Colin White. We got ourselves a game, don't we, Evan? White inside taking yeah. over this game. He's up to 21 points, the lead up to three for the Titans. They're Matt. starting to pull away here. I know it's only three, but it feels like more. Yeah, but you can't let Colin White in that close to the basket. You've got to keep him away from it. Ginther to Summers. Summers back door, but the pass hops over Landon Worcester. And the Pirates turn it over again. And this is what this Titan team can do to you. They start to go on runs. Their best players take over. And then defensively, they suffocate. Oh, they absolutely do. And, and they cause you frustration. And that's what you're seeing right now in the Bluffton Pirates. They fought so hard in this game. And now a little bit of tiredness and frustration is starting to build on them. Yeah, once OG starts getting, you know, Colin White involved in the game or Caden Irf or either one of them. And that pass tipped away by Blake Summers. Stays with the Titans. 3.55 to go. I mean, you're two seniors out there and Colin White and Caden Erford, you know, played together for so long. And, you know, either one of those two can take over a game. Generally, it's Colin White that does it. But, you know, Bluffton, you know, only down by three at this stage. Tomazos misses the three, rebound tipped out, but it's Bobbitt that grabs it, and a foul against the Titans as Ross Mag runs into the back of Wade Ginther. That's the first against the Titans here in the quarter. Donaldson will check back in for this offensive possession. He has four fouls. And he has to be real careful because if this game does go into overtime and, and he's out of the game, that's going to be a huge, huge deficit for Bluffton Pirates. Donaldson with it, working against Mag. They try to double team, but the Pirates get it away quickly. Summers. Summers in trouble. He has to get it away, but it's taken away by the Titans. Here they come the other way. Lob for White, knocked away. Now inside, Erford goes up. He's fouled and he scores. Wow. Well, that's what we said. It's either Colin White or Caden Erford's going to take it over. And great job by Colin White to save that ball in the first place and clip it back in where Erford could go up for the basket. Erford with the bucket in. A bucket of chicken. Yeah. Lee's famous recipe chicken. Sponsoring tonight's free throws. That one up and good. Extends the lead to six. That's 15 points now for Caden Erford. And the Pirates almost turn it over again, but Erford on the line. And now Coach Boblett wants to take a timeout. It's a web. Excuse me, a Metro Financial Services timeout with 3.08 on the clock. We'll take it as well. Watch high school basketball on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. 41-35 to score here in Bluff, and the Titans on top of the Pirates. That was a good timeout called by uh, Coach Boblin, too, because he could see a little frustration on his team, you know, and he doesn't want this to get away from him right now. He's got to settle him down. You know, he's still got three minutes of uh, play left. You're only down by six points. Ginther has it poked away. Erford with the quick right hand. Pirates into the backcourt. Ginther grabs it. Nothing easy here, even that, <laughs> even that inbound. Summers lost the handle, but gets it back. Nice pass to Blake. I think you're seeing OG's defense really come alive here. 
Summers goes up, his shot's knocked away. And they actually say it's off of the Pirates last. Titan basketball now, six point lead, and their offense has been looking good here in the fourth quarter. White. And they call a carry against Colin White, so a rare turnover for the senior. Only the fourth turnover for OG tonight. Blake Summers checks back in. Bluffton desperately needs a basket here. A two if they can get it, a three preferably. Pirates with it up top. Here's Donaldson. Donaldson out to Ginther. Ginther goes baseline. Find some space, goes up, and he's fouled. So two least famous recipe chicken free throws coming up for Wade Ginther. Good job by Ginther, though. He kept battling, battling against Erford, who's got size on him in, in there, and he was still able to get the foul. 73% free throw shooter coming in, 8 for 11. Hit his first two tonight, making 10 for 13. First free throw from Ginther is good. Those important points when you don't have the clock running, I'll tell you. Second one drops as well. Ginther with 10 points. Pirates back to within four. And those are 10 hard points for Wade Ginther, I'll tell you. He's really worked hard tonight. Ball swung around. Here's White up top. White gives to Mazos, now over to Erford. 90 seconds to play. Pirates do have four fouls. The next one puts the Titans on the line. They're going to be selected with well, who they give it okay. to, except Summers takes it away. Summers goes up and finishes. Back to within two go the Pirates. And a quick Metzger Financial Services timeout taken by Coach Boblin. 41-39 as the Pirates draw nearer. 113 to go. We'll step aside. We'll have the rest for you after this on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. I'll tell you what, we've got warm weather outside <laughs> here in December, but it is heating up here it in this gym. It certainly is, I'll tell you what. What a great game between the two outstanding programs. Now it is early in the season, we know that, but you know, I'll tell you what, you can't ask for a better basketball game than we're seeing right now. Both teams working really hard out there, you know, trying going for everything they can. Two point lead for the Titans as they inbound. Pirates will guard full court, man to man. Here's Tomazos. He crosses half court, he gets trapped. He loses the handle, but he keeps it in a quick timeout taken by Coach McLaughlin. It was a good play by the Pirates coming it up from behind. Was. It's a 30-second timeout. I want to thank our sponsors again. Our scoreboard tonight sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Our free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Three-point sponsor, Web Insurance Agency. And our timeouts tonight sponsored by Metzger Financial Services. We appreciate your support of our program. Appreciate yep. the support of the viewers as well as there's no cost to watch this game, but there's a cost for us to bring it to you. So any support you are willing to give to WOSN, we certainly appreciate as we bring you high school sports throughout the winter season. 
And I'll tell you what, Evan, he came up so fast, there was no way that anybody could even warn Brady that he was coming. See if the Pirates can do it again as the ball in for Erford. They get it over to Grant Schrader, now back up to Erford. Now White, 55 on the clock. Pirates can still be selected with eBay foul. Erford goes inside, goes up, and he's fouled as Ginther had his arm on him. Ginther's first foul, Pirates fifth, and two least famous recipe chicken free throws coming up for Colin White. A yeah, great move by Colin White, which he often does, is take it, you know, that kind of side hop, you know, that he does to get himself open underneath the basket and draw the foul. Two and four points. so far. That one goes, 22 points for number 22. This is a big free throw for him right here. Three-point game. White puts him up by four. Pirates with one timeout left. Titans with two. They need to go quick, but not too quick. Well, you still right. want that good shot. You don't want to. You don't want to rush one up there. Donaldson outside. 35 on the clock. He gets inside. And now a foul called away from the ball. That's foul number three against the Titans. It's called against Tomazo, so that's his first. Pardon me, that's his fourth. Let's see if the Pirates can get a quick one here on the baseline out of bounds. Mob it up for Wright. Wright goes down. No call, but the Pirates get it back. Right in the way as Summers is trying to score. He's blocked by White. Now the ball out, it'll stay with the Pirates. Wright limps off the court. Awkward fall there as it came down. It's a big part of what the Pirates have done tonight, Kerry Wright. A lot of contact underneath the basket on that particular series there. In for Worcester. 23 on the clock, Worcester backs down. He goes up and he's fouled. Two free throws coming up for the junior, Landon Worcester. If you watch the Pirate football, you know this guy, definitely a leader for that team oh, as well as is. a leader in Northwest Ohio, all-state linebacker. Also a all-conference running back for the Pirates who lost one regular season game, NWC runner-up. Big free throws from Worcester. That is no good. Your free throws tonight sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. That's Landon's first miss of the season so far. He's four for four coming into this game. This will make it a one-score game, and it goes. 43-40, 20 on the clock. Titans get it in. Pirates not fouling yet. They get it up to Tomazos. Tomazos ahead to White. White takes his time with 12 on the clock. Now Erford, now the Pirates foul. And White just needs to make one of these to make it a two-score game. Foul called against Ginther, that's his second. Two free throws coming up for White. No more one and one mm -hmm. in high school hoops in Ohio. Not interesting, isn't it? White's now hit four in a row with the free throw line. And it's a four-point game. Coach McLaughlin takes a timeout. His fourth. He'll have one remaining. And we'll take it with him with 11.8 on the clock. We'll wrap this up when we return. It's 44-40. Titans on top of the Pirates here on WOS. Tonight's free throws are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Free throw coming up for Colin White. He's made his first timeout called after that. Second one coming up here. White with 24 points. Make it 25 and a five point lead for the Titans. One timeout remaining for either team. Pirates will have to do something quickly. Worcester in for Ginther. Ginther stepped on the line. Pirates turn it over with 10 seconds. That's 19 points for Colin White in the second half. And Coach Boblet tells his team to back off, I believe, maybe not.
Ball into the backcourt. Here's Colin White. Nine on the clock, and the Pirates will say good night as the Titans win this one. 45 to 40, a thrilling victory as they were led by Colin White's 25 points. Caden Erford scored 15. On the other side, Wade Ginther with 10 to lead the way for the Pirates in a tough one here on oh. WOSN Dar. I'll tell you what, though, you know, both teams really showed a lot of metal tonight. You know, it, like I said, it's early in the season. You know, Bluffton has nothing to be ashamed of as far as how they played tonight. They gave it all they had, you know. And, and it's great to see these two. And both these teams really need these kind of games, you know, earlier on because, you know, they got a long season le left to go and tournament time after that. And so you need these close games like this. But, boy, I'll tell you what. But it shows what OG can do, though, when it comes, you know, they started out slow in their game against Calvert. They start out slow again against Bluffton. When the when push comes to shove down the end, who do you go to? You go to your big guy, Colin White, and he took over 19 points in the second half, 25 for the game. But great defensive effort by uh, you know Bluffton as well. You know, and good game by getting by Wade Ginther. I mean, he gave everything he had out there tonight. You know, just you know taking charge as far as bringing the ball down. You know, running the offense, getting to the basket, all those different things. So, just an, overall, an absolute. Awesome game to watch early on in the season. We hope you enjoyed it at home. I want to thank our sponsors one more time. Structure Outdoor Ohio by Altsley's Famous Recipe Chicken, Web Insurance Agency, and Metzger Financial Services. I want to thank the Bluffton Athletic Department for their hospitality this evening. And as always, I want to thank you, the viewer, for tuning in to High School Basketball on WOSN. For Zach Keith and Jacob O'Neill on the cameras, and for my partner, Gar Nevergall, I've been Evan Skilleter signing off. Have a great night, and God bless.